Hi guys, I just had a haircut today. How do I look? I don't like when my hair is that short, but Kishori loves it, so yeah. Hello guys, I am Rahul and welcome back to my channel Sketched Out 20. This is a channel where I post all my vlogs, talks and tips for artists. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Today I will be creating an artwork to get it printed on some products which I will be selling on my website soon. So I will use this chance to show you my entire process of creating an artwork in my style. So let's get right to it. So what I have here is my iPad and on it I have the app called Procreate. Today I will be designing an artwork which I will be using on, a, on some products. So these are the artworks that I have created till now. So I will just duplicate this one to get started. Please excuse my screen for being so scratched. So I'll combine all these layers Turn that thing off I have a circle already drawn here because I am creating a design for a badge. Let's create a new layer and take black and I use a go into sketching menu and use 6B pencil for my sketch work. I already have an idea of what I'll be drawing. So let's just get started on drawing. Let's see how it goes. So usually I draw on one side and I keep my Google Drive open on the right which has my previous work so I can refer to that as required. This is just to keep a consistency in my work. I have drawn these characters repeatedly so I know what they look like. I'm just roughly sketching the thing for now. I'll be adjusting to what I need later. I like keeping my drawing separate so I can easily in separate layers so I can easily scale the things Trying a different pose here, make it more appealing. 
just to get the Now once I'm happy with the sketch, I lower the opacity of the sketch so I can start the inking. Choose a new layer with black on it and in the inking category I use studio pen. Make sure the streamline property is full maxed out. Just use, use smooth lines. Again I use separate layers for inking different parts in case I want to edit them later.
Once I'm done with the inking, I'll hide the sketch layer from below. Now I haven't decided the colors yet. So let's now ink the text. Let's hide the sketch layer below. I create a new layer below the inking layer and I have all these colors set up because I keep the colors consistent across all my, uh, all my illustrations. I keep every color set on a separate layer in case I need to tweak them later. In a new layer, I do the hair as a separate color. I feel like I can keep orange in the background. So let's try different colors. For now, let's keep orange. Let's finish filling all the solid colors first.
Once I've filled all the solid colors, I paint the shadows. So I pick a light purple color, put a new layer on multiply mode and put the opacity at 75%. I start painting the shadows. Shadows give your artwork a bit of a depth. I follow this three step process of using the base color, the shadows and the highlight. Let's get back to the text later. Now for the highlights, let's create a new layer. Select white. Put the layer on screen mode. Put the opacity on 50%. Let's paint some highlights like on the hair. Also, let's put a rim light kind of situation on the hands and the torso. Now I put another layer as a highlight layer and keep the opacity way below on 15% and create a secondary light. This gives a bit more depth to the drawing. Now let's add some highlights to the text as well. I'll keep this on a separate layer. Put it on screen. Put it 50%. Actually, let's keep it 100% because it's not visible on the yellow. Sometimes I also keep another layer as a border for the drawing on white. Let's add a white border to the entire drawing. Let's try tweaking the colors a bit. Let's see if yellow works better as the background. Maybe more of a and for the power, let's make it red.
let's place a white circle just to see how we are doing I guess this turned out pretty well. I might change the colors a bit later, but yeah, this is how I create all my artwork. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something from my process of creating artwork and hope you liked the video. So please hit that like and subscribe button. So until the next video, thank you for your support.